long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight he stands six feet two inches tall weighing in at 211 pounds fighting out of nagoya japan presenting the challenger assassin and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. USA live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history for my man DC. B. Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in store for these athletes tonight. This arena has been great for the American Kickboxing Academy. King Velasquez was able to retain his title in this arena too. And also home to the greatest NBA franchise in history, the Houston Rockets. Tonight they will blow. Look, tonight the UFC blows the roof off the building. Spoken like a true Golden State Warriors. Clutch City, baby. Clutch City. Right down. The Clutch road. City, baby. Which hat you wearing today? <laughs> I'm wearing a rocket, but we're in Houston. Big call from Clutch Land. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Double jab there by Lee. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go 
chase that finish down. Left hand punch from the punch. He lands a nice one, too. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Big head kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big body kick. Ooh. Punch is blocked. Just out of range with that right hand. Effective punch there by the Nice right hand, John. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that stretch. Try to establish that jab. Relax, relax. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Right hand on point. He got to whip his hip into that kick. Able to check that kick as well. Score that kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Single collar tie now. That kick blocked by Lee. That big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful leg kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, you can see. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Nice. Nice kick to the midsection. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Round two is underway. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, huge block! Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Sneaky head kick. Oh, counters with a beautiful left hand. Wow, huge head kicks. Both 
guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Oh, straight right. Keep your hands up, Morgan. Come on now. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, huge kick to the body. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. It's not over, it's not over. Keep moving. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. his hip over when he throws that kick. Watch knees to the bodies. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. and some body shots. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful body kick. And there comes the separation now. Oh, good kicks. Nice defense there. Huge block. That is. Oh, man, this dude is good. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, there is the lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. What a punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Whoa! What a round. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Take a deep breath. Relax. You're okay. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet.
that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice shot to the body there. Just missing on the uppercut there. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Big punch lands through the middle. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace. He looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Wow, well, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Liver kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Takes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, right there to left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Big knee lands there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Beautiful strike. Final seconds of round three. Oh. What a round! Nice job out there. Wow. Those power combinations are really paying off. You floored that guy. This round, let's go back 
out there and look to finish him. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's powerful. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt trapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh, big knee. Just misses there with the left. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Punch over the top. Point knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body. Every time the opponent tries to get close. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big kick lands. Oh, straight right. Real sneaky body. Strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that six. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Leg kick. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Next with a right. Body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. And they separate. Dig and kick. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, wow, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. We certainly paid dividends for him there. Just over two minutes to go. Right at the elbow, the body keeps playing. Let's go. We need a slow Big punch, punch land. Ooh. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Wow. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Keep pushing. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And then he lands a nice elbow. Pretty good right hand. And he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Under a minute now to go in this one. Stand tight, stand tight. Double leg, double leg there, double leg. Oh, a huge block there. Oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. 
how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And now connects with the right. Can't take many of those, you better check. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. A hook shot blocked there by Lee. Lands the right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Plus right hand is true. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice kick there by Lee. Just missing on the high kick there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there! Big body to land. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big kick lands. What a body kick. Slips. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Good punch. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Still a nice body kick land. Whiffs on that offer. Big leg kick lands. <laughs> Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 17 seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick. At